Hey there, guys and gals, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome to a brand new season of Space Pirates and Zombies 2. Yes, we're playing this game again. Why, you ask? Because we played this on stream the other day, and I realized I knew nothing about this game anymore. Because there has been so many changes, so many patches, it's changed in such profound ways that we must play this through again. We absolutely must. And we're not just going to play it on easy. We are going to be playing this as hard as possible just because I feel like I just want it. I want a really long, difficult, challenging game. And so we're going to kind of push the limit here. So first off, we're going to push our faction sizes down to minimum. The faction size and fact faction strength down to minimum. That means you're going to start with a very small territory. Their guys are going to be very weak at the beginning, which will be interesting to see how they develop and see how they deal with the next problem, which is a large bandit population with a large bandit strength. Wow, I, th I don't want to max them out. I think we'll go about there. That should be pretty intense. The bandits are going to start off very, very strong. And the, and there's gonna, the factions won't be able to compete with them. This is going to be super interesting. Perks per level 3, I'm fine with that. Zombie timer. We are going to make it so the zombies don't show up for a full 60 minutes. That'll give some factions, factions some time to build up. And me some time to build up too. And when they do show up, I want the zombies to be twice as strong than what we faced before. I found the zombies a little weak our first playthrough. Now, I could be playing with fire here. This could make it impossible. I don't know, but I think it'll be fun. I'm really excited to see what that does for us. Infected asteroid chance, keep the same. Zombie ambush chance, keep that same. Level up speed, normal. Ignore player level, that just means it can't attack us until we're level six. <laughs> uh, I think we start as level five, that's funny start and to make it even more challenging we are going to start this on expert now since our stream i have practiced a little bit and got it to know a few more of the changes in the game we can. if you don't just so that uh we can have a nice fluent playthrough for example synergies and some other stuff but we'll talk about that when we get to that point first things first we need to explore the known galaxy this is really interesting so the bandits they're starting off with level 45 bandit hives that's crazy man i think when i was playing before they were starting off with bandit hives at like seven so that's nuts so first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna salvage we're gonna avoid combat as much as possible we want to explore the map grab as many goodies as we can i'm not gonna go for the 11 population no or the 11 crew we're not going to do that uh goons sorry they're called goons in this game the crew we're just going to grab as much of this salvage as possible but not the stuff like if, it, if it's just a couple goons left over i'm not going to waste all that time to grab a couple goons we're going to grab all the lore we are not going to be reading the lore um during this playthrough because it just takes up too much time of the actual gameplay i want to focus on the actual campaign Ransack. Oh, 197 scrap right away. Fantastic. Area exhausted. So we can't even, even put on real parts onto our ship, like level one parts until we've reached level six. So we, we're not even, th I'm not even going to think about combat for a while. Uh, what's left here? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll go for that. Sure. There's a little bit more s scrap there. Sure. So the goal right now is just to kind of do our scouting, get around the map, grab as much salvage as we possibly can, avoid combat, grab all the lore spots, and see where the factions are laid out, and of course figure out uh, figure out what our plan of action is going to be when 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 we do have the opportunity to start making some moves, uh, like what faction we're going to join, and it's going to be strictly to based based on how they develop, like. If, if civilian ascendancy does really well, we might join a civilian, jo join the civilian ascendancy. If it's, I don't want to join the science conglomerate because I've already done that, but like, oh, or the science, are they, I forget, science conglomerate or hold on. <laughs> I have to remind myself of this stuff. Um, it's a, so a sovereignty of science, miners conglomerate we've never joined, sun hunters we've never joined, or the void we've never joined, or the civilian ascendancy. So I'd be willing to join any one of those guys. Hopefully they do well starting from scratch here. So the, p the bandits are starting off as threat level not. <laughs> yeah, we don't even stand a chance. We're just going to avoid all combat if possible. And it looks like, you know, regular pilots are starting off as level six. They're going to have a lot of trouble against bandits at the beginning here. That's going to slow down the faction growth very much. Um, but uh, that's okay. Actually, I think it's interesting. It'll be really interesting to see which faction sort of does the best. And I wonder if it would be different every time. I'm sure it would be because I'm sure they start in different spots. But, oh, is he not? Is he chasing me? He better not be. I don't think anybody can fight me until I'm a little bit higher level anyway. We'll take care of this lore. Yeah, we're not going to be reading all the lore because it does take so much time to go through all that if you're reading it. If you're interested in learning all the lore in the game, um, I do my first playthrough, I played through with all of the lore and everything. So we've kind of got a really good idea of, of the background of the game. But I, I, I know it now. I know it pretty well. See, that bandit just nailed that guy, made him drop his cargo. <laughs> or attacked him. And, I, no, I don't think he attacked him. He just dropped his cargo. That's awesome. So the bandits are just wreaking havoc here. And uh, I, what we found... 
Uh, so we've, we've discovered five territories and three of them have bandit hives. <laughs> That's crazy. So there's going to be a lot of those. Uh, my goal here, hopefully, is to just survive. And we are getting experience points. Notice we're already at 170 of, out of 200 towards level 6. We're getting experience points just exploring and gathering all these uh, lore spots, too. So there we go. We've got our first level. Now this is good and bad. Yes, so now we can actually have regular parts on our ship. So we can buy some. We do have a little bit of scrap right away, so we might go do that. Let's do, uh, for our first perk, let's go for shield strength, plus 20%. Because shields are the bomb. They're yeah, so cool. important in this game. Uh, there's The only thing better than having really strong armor is having a ship that never gets Those damaged because their shields are so strong. Uh, another bandit hive, they're everywhere. Uh, we do have an overabundance of goons. Now, the other part of not having a lot of faction kicking around is that there's not a lot of places to buy and sell goods. So most of it is just empty star bases, right? So we have to, we haven't even found a place that we could do any dealings with. Um, can I sneak around this bandit? Uh, oh, I'm still threat level five, so they won't they won't touch me. I don't think if I'm threat level five. <laughs> Pretty sure. Uh, sure, yeah, scan, excellent. Yeah, we're getting like 30 experience from each one of those. And how much experience do we get when we go from one territory to another? I'm just gonna get out of this territory. So let's see here. We get Awareness. 10, Thank only you. 10 experience for, for exploring. But hey, you know what? It's it's free experience, essentially. I am going to grab these goons, but we're going to sell our goons as soon as we find a star base. We have too many, which means we're expelling too much. We're using too much res. Our engines are just, uh, they're we chugging along. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of people on one ship. <laughs> um, imagine, hey, we could use methane. We could, we could drive the ship with methane. That's a good idea. We just get everybody to go poop at the same time and we could power the ship. <laughs> Brilliant. We just solved, solved interstellar, interstellar travel. Um, Oh, no, nah, we're not going to go for those goons. If they're right full, I'll take them. But I'm not going to go for them if they've, if they've only got a little bit in them. Just because goons, I mean, actually, they're, they're good to sell. We can make some pretty decent money on it. But so far, we haven't found one faction yet. And we've almost circum oh, gone around the entire galaxy here. Another 30. Ah, we're almost at level... S uh, sorry, level 2. Sorry, we're on level... I'm not sure. What level are we? <laughs> I'm not sure. Sovereignty of Science declared peace with civilian ascendancy. We've got, we've, we've received one level. I think we start at level one. Yeah, that, that's right. That's right. They can't attack us until we're level five. We're threat level five. They're different. They're totally different things. Yeah, so uh, I will grab that res too. It's over half, sure. We'll grab that. All right. Your res is also good to sell. You can make some really decent money on, uh, really decent scrap on selling res. But, you know, it's, it's always good to have a, over an abundance of fuel if you ever need to escape or use. Uh, um, is he going for that scrap? I don't want to mess with that bandit. Uh, uh, no. Actually, he's, I don't, yeah, they will completely ignore me until I'm level five. That's right. So I really don't have to worry about it. Look at that res. It's kind of like right on the edge there. Sure. Nope. He's going for that. Let's grab this. Miners conglomerate versus a uh, declared peace with sovereignty of science. Excellent. So we've already got some wars going on. They must be right close by. That's crazy. What are the odds, right? I mean, I guess it's pretty good. It's not like the maps are that big. We'll grab this lore. Excellent. Scan. Level up. It's All right. Murder to me when we have unused analytical data I'm going like to go Unless for one night armor. So we've gone for shields and now we've gone for armor. I think we're going for the they basics to start because I think we're going to need them. I mean, going for trading and all that's important, but I think more than anything at the beginning, we need as much uh, as much defensive power as possible. Yay, we found the civilian ascendancy. Fantastic. Let's go see what they have for sale. I might join a, a faction right away too. It just depends on where they are. I want to do. I want to scan the whole place first. So let's do some trading here. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's go for ooh, a nice big, uh, fast moving, fast tracking missile that was uh, 0.4 DPS, but mostly to health. I'd like Omni cannons are okay. Actually, they're pretty good. They do a lot of damage to armor. They're great once you've taken out once you've taken out those shields. But we don't have really much to take out shields. Most of what we have right now are micro blasters, which are not very good against shields. So I'm thinking if we do like an anti shield Omni laser or something. Actually, I'd rather have missiles that stripped shields. That would be ideal. Like SRMs, uh, th like these here, ion shotguns or something. But yeah, we need. I'd rather have missiles. Uh, is there any cores? There's no cores here. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Actually, I think I will go for the the dinghy. It's an omni cannon. It does lots of damage to armor, and we'll go for some some left and right missiles when we get the opportunity. Cool. Well, at least we bought one weapon. That's good. Let's throw that on. 
Yes, remember this, guys, remember this. Now there's all sorts of new strategies for building ships. One of which is synergies, and we're gonna talk about synergies when we actually get to a point where it matters. Right now, it doesn't really matter. Once we start to get some more cores and stuff, it matters more. But at least, hey, we've got our first part. Yay, we've got a, a dinghy, which is a, a just a big, uh, uh, it's a big uh, duh, 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 gun, you know, like a big, a big heavy gun. What are these, who are these guys? No, I'm not gonna mess with them. Nope, nope, not gonna do it. Looks like uh, they're right beside the void. Uh, they are totally right beside the void. The civilian ascendancy that's uh, like uh, started right beside the void. Uh, void, void militia? I forget what they're called. Void militia, I think is what they're called. Yeah, or the void? No, yes, yeah, Sun Hunters void militia. That's right. So that's interesting. So there'll be lots of conflicts between them. I'd almost wouldn't want to start with one of them, though. Although, I like being at war. Being at war is one of my favorite things to do. I'm a little sick right now. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I have a little bit of a flu. My head's all stuffed up, and I'm I'm pretty sick, actually. But, uh, you know, there's always, always time to play video games, especially when you're sick. Although, it's more fun when you're just skipping work or something. <laughs> either, way, it's, either way, it's fun. All right, go for this lore. We're actually... We're getting some nice resources kicking guys. around here. Yeah, let's go see if we can uh, if we can find the science guys. Maybe we can buy some good uh, shield shield detected. type parts. We need some more cores. That would be nice. Let's grab that res first because that's nice and full. Oh, that's juicy, man. Look at that. That's a lot. 240 res. Excellent. The bandits. It's a good thing they, they can't attack me yet because they totally would have attacked me there. <laughs> <laughs> because I basically just stole... Oh, I forgot to sell those crew. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll sell it next time. Doesn't hurt to have extra crew, but not that many. Once it starts to get into yellows and reds, that means we're actually spending too much in our res. So we don't want to do that too much. And the nice thing about right now is that nobody can attack me, so I can just do all of this scouting right away, figure out where everybody is, and not and pre be pretty much untouched. We can go into fights if we choose to, but I'm not going to choose to do any fights until we're ready. <laughs> we have one good part, one one level one part. Like it's it's yeah. <laughs> we have a long way to go before we're capable of doing anything more. But there we go. We've we've gone around the edge of the galaxy because the galaxy is round, didn't you know? It's perfectly round like this. <laughs> there is no, you know, it's just perfectly round. Cuz cuz gravity, right? No, that doesn't make any sense. Don't believe that, kids. Don't don't that's this is not an edge this is not educational material <laughs> not at all ah uh, we're close to the sun hunters very close looks like they're trying to build a star base here uh nope not yet we'll grab that so we're getting uh, we're up to 2 2500 in scrap already so yeah we're actually decent amount of scrap right at the beginning to kind of play with oh wow still no sun hunters so who are we still missing we're missing science the Sovereignty of Science and the Sun Hunters. We still haven't found them yet. They've got to be close by. I know we have... This first episode is only about exploration. There's not going to be much for combat. Ah, there we go! New level! All that is I think we'll go for the plus 15% weapon damage, and we also get a new core slot, which means... Which means we can, if we go to a station here, what we can do is we can grab a junk core. <laughs> or we can buy... Maybe they'll have a core to sell. Void militia, and, Void militia and Sun Hunters declared peace. Fantastic. Okay, let's go in, see what they have for us. This is their headquarters, too. So their markup's pretty high. We're, yeah, we're going to have to spend a lot anything we buy here. So if they've got watch spires, which are good cores. Let's buy a level one watch spire. That's a good start, actually. That'll give us an, some extra shields and capacitor, as well as a little bit of turn rate and a little bit of engine power. And it's nice. It's all around better. So we can compare that to our junk parts, which is, yeah. Yeah, there's no comparison. No comparison. Let's pick that up for sure. Let's sell off any of our extra people. Let's sell it right down to, like... Yeah, that should be good. And let's see. What else can we buy? We could buy another core. We can. We can afford to buy another core, but I'm really interested in some SRMs. Ion SRMs, that's what we want. Shield stripping missiles, that's what we want. Uh, we're going to have to make a little bit more money. Let's sell a little bit of our res. We've got a lot of it anyway. We'll sell 100, and we'll grab... This is a nose. I'm okay with that. That's good. So we'll grab a nose, and uh, that's good for now. Let's go build our ship. Excellent. Excellent. So... Now that we've got another core, what we're going to do... So, synergies are boosts that you get when you link cores together. So, that does not include your, your, your mothership module. But cores themselves, when you link cores together, you get a bonus. 
for the cores themselves and for anything that's attached to them. For example, if we link these three together, we get a 10% bonus. You can see it in the top right there at the bottom. We get a 10% bonus. There's a 10% there's a boost on everything in, in, in this module. So, uh, and as well as the ones beside it. Now, if we attach something to that core, it transfers, it, get, it, it translates out to the part that's attached to it too as well. So you'll notice there's a, it translates 10% out and it gives us a 23% bonus to damage for that, uh, for that hairpin right, which is really, really nice. And now we can also put our other nose on, our new nose, perfect. So that it adds, some, and, and of course, the more cores you jam together, the better the synergy bonuses you get. So rather than building ships that just have lots of weapons, you could start to build ships that have really powerful, specifically powerful weapons and parts. So it's just a different way. It adds more strategy to the game. I'm really excited about that. And I'm really pleased that they did that. Uh, nope, I was about to maybe help that get that guy, but nope. Not We're updated. it's getting to a point where we might be able to jump in on a on a fight and help somebody, but I've got to be really careful about which battles. We've got to pick our fights very carefully, and there will be times when we flee, guys. We're playing on hard here, and it's much better to run away and fight another day. It's always better. Nobody nobody wins if if I mean in real life in real life if you fight a battle. And you know, or if you get into a fight and you know you're going to lose, you're, I mean, it doesn't make sense to die, does it? It makes sense to, you know, oh, they just took over that territory. I'm not going to ransack. I don't want to make any enemies right now. <laughs> you're much better off to run away and come back m more prepared. I, I like to fight fights that I know I'm going to win. It makes sense. I'm going to grab these goons. Uh, nah, 19, that almost wasn't worth it. It costs us a lot of time to do that. Uh, how much did we get for this one? Oh, I missed that message. Somebody, somebody, uh, somebody either declared peace or went to war. I'm not sure which. So we've almost got the entire ter territory scouted out. How, I wonder how much time we have. I hope we have enough time for another, for a fight, for our first oh, fight. I don't know. If, well, I haven't found. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit of an opportunist at the beginning here, and we're going to look for a very oh, specific kind of fight. For example, we want somebody that's bigger than a pirate fighting a pirate, and then we're going to jump in on the fight and help him out. And we'll get a little bit of, we'll get some good experience for that. And of course, we'll successful. we'll build up our relationship with somebody too, which will be nice. Oh, 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 here's a fight. So we've got a nine versus a nine. Should we jump in and help? Sure, let's give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen? Worst that can happen is we lose, but then, you know, we'll have to uh, lick our wounds and come back, right? Here we go. We do have, did we build our, we forgot to build our strike craft. <laughs> Here. I haven't, oh, that's right. I haven't talked about Strikecraft yet. That's okay. That's okay. We should be able to get in here. Let's put on our battle, battle minder mode. We want to strip those shields. There we go. Very, very nice. He's He's got a very weak ship too, but I mean, actually it's about the same. Our ships are about the same, but it's two on one. Two on one is always good. Let's take care of these guys. They are going to be a serious problem if we do not take care of these Strikecraft. Eliminated. Very nice. Fire! Let's not get in the way of the other guy firing at the ship. We don't want to get in between them. Okay. Afterburner's on. Perfect. There, lick our wounds, get our shields back up. Excellent! We got him! Excellent! So we got some good experience for that. As well as you'll notice that we've been picking up Strikecraft blueprints. So this is something else that's new in the game. So every Strikecraft blueprint you pick up increases your level at building those Strikecraft. So in other words, we're, we've almost unlocked level one at GIMP. We've unlocked the squatter, which means we can actually build squatter ships out of our own hangars. You no longer have to buy these ships from star bases. You actually build them yourself. So let's take all of the goodies and let's go to our hangars. So we start off with the short buses, but I think we've unlocked squatters. Squatters give us two micro turrets and two omni turrets. So it's a fully turreted ship, whereas the GIMP is two equipped with a medium launcher and an omni turret. Actually, the GIMP looks great. I think I like the I like the idea of a medium launcher. Let's do the gimp for our first hangar. So uh, yeah, let's do torp an omni. Oh, so we can either do a torpedo or an omni laser. So we can change that torpedo into a gravi gravity missile, a cloud torpedo. Oh, cool! A guided explosive that dispenses bomblets as it travels. Oh, oh, that looks great, but it does damage only to health. Uh, I think I'd rather have the gra Ooh, gravity missile sh slows down ships. You know what? I think I'm going to go with the straight up. No, I, we gotta, we're going to give him the cloud torpedo. And we're also going to give him something that's really good for dealing with 
shields. Oh, the ion shotgun would be good. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, we can refit our, our, our strike craft as well. So accept new design. Now we have a gimp and we have to build them. And it does cost 100 scrap per gimp to build. And uh, depending on how, it's two command points each. So it's co total cost of four command points to build two. Okay, so for the short buses, these guys are pretty simple. Or we could go with a squatter. Actually, let's go with the squatter. They have the micro turrets and the omni turrets. Sure. So let's change their mini guns. So one to doing damage to uh, the omni lasers to do damage to shields and one to do damage to armor. And the same with the blasters. We'll change them. So one to do damage to shields, one to do damage to armor. Perfect. So they're nice balanced designs. And we'll do two of those. Perfect. So now we can set those to auto repair, which means we'll spend the craft uh, crap has the scrap and automatically repair those ships but i'm not going to do that for now because we might want to change our which what we, what we want to build we'll, we'll just uh, use those up and then we'll go from there whoops i didn't mean to click on you i meant to go to nope i meant to go to the scrap please hello there we go scaven sure excellent so yeah oh i thought that i thought that that bandit was about to attack them so yeah this is we're off to a good start we've won our first battle surprisingly on expert <laughs> Uh, I say so. Oh, let's jump in on this. Total opportunity. Yes, join fight. So, Mr. Poner, Mr. remember Mr. Poner? If you watched my first series, we had a, a very intimate relationship with Mr. Poner. We kept running into him. <laughs> we were good, really good friends, and then we hated each other. It was great. So, uh, shields up, shields up. All right, let's go deal with this guy. So, we don't have a lot for weapons, but we've got enough to send our strike craft after him. Engaging. And then we can sneak up on him. Uh, yeah, they're dealing. Oh yeah, they're they're cutting him down. So we might as well get in there, get a couple good shots on him. Just to say that we helped. We might not even get there in time. I don't know. Battleminder on. We're, we're not even gonna get there in time. We need better engines. Definitely need better engines. Oh, we're gonna get a shot. Excellent. There we go. Fire. Ah, beautiful. We got the kill shot. Wonderful. Turn around. Get out of there. And we got a couple more. Oh, good. We got the Ranger. I do like the Ranger. We got a squatter. Anything else left in here? I think that's it. Tactical. Wonderful. Oh, I, I miss this game so much. What a fun game. Take all. Yay. Excellent. Let's get out of here. Oh, oh, man. I should have gone after that salvage, but that's okay. The bandit's there. We are actually making good progress. So how much? We've got enough money to buy something else. Let's go buy something else. Um, Let's go for... Just give me one sec here. Just taking a look at something else. Okay, let's go for this time. We need we need some engines. Uh, we there is no engines here. There's only noses. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's get out of here. That's fine. We're still exploring. I want to make sure that we get all of the lore that we can right now. Otherwise, it might be more difficult later on once factions start to set up their territory a little bit better. And of course, once the zombies come, it gets a little bit more difficult to just wander around. And with all these bandits wandering around, I got to be a little bit careful. I ah, the cool. Data analyzer system to your cerebral cortex. I'm going to do select the incorrect one button. scavenging just so that we get a little bit better loot when we're scavenging. Uh, how much? 101? Yeah, sure. We'll go for that. Excellent. Um, what are these? Uh, before I move here, what, let's see what they have. Uh, they've got photonitrons, which is good. Do you have any engines? One mandolin left. No, I, I'm not going to go there. I, I want a couple engines first. I want That's where I want to spend my money because... Engines will help us not only get to our enemies faster, but run from our enemies when things get heated. Whoops. <laughs> and uh, it's very important to be able to run at this point in the game. Like, extremely important. If we can't run, we're hooped. Uh, keep going. I don't know if they can attack us yet. No, I don't think so. I think we have to be level five. I For a, second, for a while, for at the beginning there, I'm like, yeah, this is my level. No, that's my threat level. That's not my actual level. Uh, we are, uh, yeah, we're level four. We're going on level five. As soon as we're level five, anybody can attack us. We've got to get the rest of our lore as quickly as possible so that we can uh, wander around. Hold on. Let's see if there's any engines here. Trade? Uh, da, 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 da. Engines. Ooh, South Beaks. We could get a level two engine and we could afford it. Yeah, we could totally afford it. So South Beak uh, cannons. Ooh, the 1.2 DPS cannons. Good against armor we do have that one srm which is good at stripping shields i'm gonna take i'm gonna take the uh i'm gonna take the cannon the 1.2 dps cannon yeah absolutely let's load that up right now i'm not i didn't even look at to see how fast that thing is let's take a look here so that's uh, four it gives us four speed versus our regular guy that gives us 3.3 so i mean it's good it's good because we have two of them, though, it's even better. Excellent. And this one's got the big cannon on it, so we can fire at them fire at them as we're running away. Fantastic. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's get out of here. 
No more lore. If I miss lore, guys, let me know which sector you saw the lore. Oh, there's some there. Let's go grab that. There's some here, too. Let's grab that. that there's, it's just, it's basically free experience points and free salvage and everything, so we might as well just grab as much of it as we possibly can. Ooh, look at these pirates. Level 15, level 18. Crazy. So, uh, taking a look at the whole map, yeah. It's taken a while for the uh, for the factions to kind of get going. It's kind of what I wanted. I want them to have a little bit of a struggle, and I wanted to know, you know, whoever's strong enough to sort of fight through this initial phase, that I will join them, Darkness Looms, or we'll join a, a, a small faction and become the underdog. Whoops, I missed one. Become the underdog? That's always fun too. I like to become the underdog. Uh, scan, excellent. Perfect. We've almost got the whole thing scouted out and it's <laughs> we're a quarter of the way there to zombies showing up. Only 15, we're 15 minutes in of game time before, and so another 45 minutes before zombies start to show up. <laughs> Ooh, more lore here. Excellent. Oh, weird. So the void, they're, they're kind of split up already. Oh, I bet you they've got this territory right here. That's exactly what's going on. They've got this. Oh, you know what? I'm going after this bandit. Think we can take him? I think we can take him. With this, with the help of this guy? Sure, we'll help Wanjo Jan. Hello, Wanjo! I'm here to help. Excellent, two on one. That's what I like to see. Every once in a while, there's zombies. Uh, the zombies show up with the zombie asteroids and stuff, and that's a real pain in the butt. Send out the, send out the, uh, oh, send out the dudes. Send out the strike craft to go help us out. Strip those shields down. Ah, uh, there's those cannons firing now. We've got the rear cannon that's gonna fire. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh yes, nice first strike. Beautiful. Oh, asteroids. Let's get turned around here. Shields up. Beautiful. Excellent. Going in for the kill. Not quite in range. There we go. That main cannon just ripped him to pieces. I love it. <laughs> Get out of here. Go, 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 go. Ah, beautiful. Just ding, ding the friendly. We'll grab these shields just for fun. Oh, I missed him. Whoops. There we go. But we did get a yacht. We unlocked the yacht. And what else have we got here? I, oh, we got our gimp. Oh, my gimp's almost up to level one. And this is an egg up here. I like the eggs too. The eggs are really good. Yeah. And he is unlocked too. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Excellent. Good. So we had, we were able to have a couple of successful fights too. I wasn't sure how well we do or not. Um, I've had a little bit of practice again since um, we did that stream. That stream was just terrible. I did so bad. I just, I, it had been so long since I played this game. Um, but now I'm certain, to, I'm certain to remember the tactics of this game. Super fun. Super fun. Really enjoy it. Ah, lore, more lore. Secrets of the galaxy. Scan. Excellent. Uh, can you guys tell that I'm a little bit under the weather? I'm gonna go and grab the salvage too while we're here. Yeah, I can definitely hear it in my voice. I like I feel I sound like I'm off, right? <laughs> okay, so we've almost got all of the whole galaxy. The whole galaxy is just about scouted out. We've just got a couple more to go. I did miss some lore over here. Uh, let's grab that before we go the other way. I'm trying to catch all the lore before we go and I don't... Oh, what's that? Nope, there is asteroids that we can harvest now too. Um, something new that the developer put into the game, and I think it's a nice little addition. I don't know how much I'm going to use them, because I'd much rather be in combat. Mind you, actually, to be honest with you, you end up in combat with these little uh, asteroid har harvesting missions as well. Uh, people don't like you taking their asteroids, go figure. <laughs> they fight for the minerals, so that's fun. Uh, so we'll do this last little bit of scouting. Hopefully we get the rest of the map before we have to, before the episode's over. We only have a little bit of time. I love it. Signal detected. Oh, let's grab this lore. Man, did it, was that ever fast? As opposed to reading all the lore, I think it took us like four or five episodes last time to read all the lore that the galaxy had to offer. This time we're just whipping through it, grabbing all the lore. We've got the whole thing scouted out immediately so we can, wow, look at how big the miners conglomerate are already. I might consider joining them. Wow, look at that. Look at how much territory they, I guess it's no different than anybody else. But I like how they're all kind of, they're kind of compressed together. I wouldn't mind joining the Void either, or the Sun Hunters, because they're kind of a bounty hunter kind of group. I like that idea too, so they're kind of a hostile group, I like that. I like the concept of, uh, I don't know, I just I just like being in fights. <laughs> I like being in fights. Is that it? Is that, we? if I missed any guys, and any uh, lore guys, let me know in the comments below. But I believe we are totally out of time, but I think next time we might join a faction right away. We're gonna do, we're gonna, of course, take advantage of some of those opportunistic fights to build up our strength. We're at strength of our level nine, threat level nine, which is pretty small, pretty small, but not bad for our first episode. Guys, I hope you, 
are ready for a wonderfully awesome and possibly long series of Space Pirates and Zombies. I'm really excited to play this. I'm going to play this regardless of whether or not people are watching the series, just because I love this game so much. All right, guys, take care. Talk to you later. Bye!